Minecraft has a new launcher and today I'm going to be showing you how to get it. Alrighty then, so here we are on the current launcher. If you want to get the new launcher, all you have to do is go to the hamburger menu in the top right over here. That will produce a drop down list. Click on settings and click update to beta versions of the launcher. You'll see a little notice pops up that tells you to reload the launcher. And then when you reload the launcher, you'll see that your game has an update for the new launcher. This won't affect any of your world downloads, although it will produce a backup of the old launcher. So if you do want to go back, you can, and I shall show you how as soon as we get into the new launcher. So here we are, the launcher's just loaded, and this is it. I think it looks rather nice. Now at the moment, it's pretty much just the same as the old launcher in terms of capability, but it does look genuinely better. Now, as you can see, I have got no connection at the moment. This hasn't happened before, so it seems like they've just added a nice new way to reconnect without loading the launcher. So that's a nice little feature. But first of all, we can see this nice background here. We've got a Steve, an Alex, a few things in the background, a hidden creeper over here, that's pretty cool. But then if we look at the bottom, we've got a new GUI down here for loading the game. The play button, pretty much the same, just loads the game. We've got a preview of the loaded loser. User, not loser. Over here we can see what Minecraft version we're running, which of our instances. And if you click on that, you can see all of your other instances. Going to the left, the news panel has been split off into its own separate section. So instead of having to be forced to read all of these news panels, you can go through them at your own convenience. You may have noticed when I had a look up here in the top left, there was a little drop down menu. If you click on that, you can go straight to your Minecraft Mojang account. You can log out for some strange reason. You can switch your accounts nice and easily, and you can view all accounts. We'll get into that later on though. So moving up to the top of the window, we've got all of our little tabs up here. Play is this window here. Installations shows all of your installations and you can now sort these. So if you don't want snapshots, you can turn that off and you can see my latest snapshots is disappearing. Same with stable, it gets rid of all of the stable ones. And then what you can do, the more of these you have turned on, if you press new, you can see this menu has been made a lot nicer. So depending on which one of these you have selected, depends on what you see in here. Now a little feature that I quite like and this was a bug in the old version of the launcher. If you were to select Optifine, you could make a server for it. You could download the server files and that would take you to a bugged out website that would give you an error. Now though, you don't get that option anymore. So something I have noticed is, of course, we still got these blocks. I'm not sure if we've got any new ones, but we've got the blocks that we can add as icons. But we've also got the option for screen resolution, which is very nice. So we've got auto and a few common values. Of course, all of the advanced options are still here too. If you click more options, then you'll get your Java executable and JVM arguments. They haven't changed. However, we do have a browse button, which just opens a file explorer. Another nifty thing about this is, of course, we still have the sort by, but we can now search instances and we get the result. We can also play straight from the instance menu. So any one of our instances that we have, we can press play and load it. Of course, we can also edit, duplicate and delete. Popping over to skins, this hasn't been added yet because it's in beta, but I'm sure this will come very, very soon. For now though, you can either downgrade or go to minecraft.net to manage your skins. Moving over to patch notes, this is something that was in the launcher before the current one. So the current launcher removed this feature and now it's back. And this is actually a really good feature because it saves having to go to the website. Um, so you can see all of the changes for all of the new versions. Currently they've only got 1.14 on here, but when 1.15 comes out, this page will be updated for that. Really nice feature to have. So looking back at this left section, we can see they've got a rather large empty space here. I wonder if they're going to be putting their new games in, like uh, Minecraft Dungeons and um, Minecraft Bedrock Edition for Windows 10. Because they've got lots of space here, so just having it for one game wouldn't really make sense. So I'm not sure what they're going to do with that, but that would be a really good opportunity for them to put their other games here. Because like with a very old launcher that they used to have, they used to advertise their games like Cobalt and Scrolls on the right. If I can find a screenshot of that, I'll put that on screen now. 
So finally then, let's have a look at the settings options. So of course you've got your language options, these are like your translations for different languages. This is how you take the beta off, so if you want to turn off the beta, uncheck that, and then a pop-up will appear up here telling you to reload the launcher. But we're going to keep that on for now because, hey, quite frankly, I like this launcher. Same options here as the last time, keep the launcher open, open the output, and send crash reports. That's all the same, nothing has changed there. Of course, going into accounts, this is where you can add an account and change your accounts, but of course, it's a lot easier to do that in the drop-down menu, and of course, about, we've got third-party information if you want to read that. You can also report a launcher bug as well. That goes to the official Minecraft bug report website. Pretty handy thing to have. Well, I do believe that's everything to do with the brand new Minecraft launcher. It's a very nice launcher indeed. So how about we get off the launcher and play some Minecraft with a very fancy bar. So for anyone who's probably wondering, nope, same game, still Minecraft Java Edition. It's only the launcher that's changed, but even still, really nice launcher. Like, compared to what the old version used to look like, from 2016 we've had that old launcher. Very, very good upgrade. I think Mojang have taken the right direction there completely. Um, from my point of view, that was a very good move, and I think now is the right time to do it with the release of Minecraft Dungeons, and um, I think the game becoming more popular as well. We kind of needed a fresh look for the launcher. So guys, um, what did you think to the launcher? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll be reading all of your feedback on the launcher and uh, your experiences. How are you finding the new launcher? Are you using the new launcher yet? Comment down below and I shall be reading your comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this short little video. Hope you found it useful and I shall see you tomorrow for another one. Bye bye.